November 15, 2024, ATAN DT Stadium in Arlington, Texas. The air crackled with anticipation. This wasn't just another fight night, this was a spectacle, a clash of generations, a spectacle for the ages. Jake Paul, the brash YouTuber turned boxer, was stepping into the ring with Iron Mike Tyson, a boxing legend. No one could have predicted this showdown. Yet here they were, ready to make history. The energy in the stadium was electric. Fans roared, cameras flashed, and commentators buzzed with excitement. This fight had it all celebrity controversy and the potential for a knockout. Could Jake Paul with his limited experience really stand a chance against the might of Mike Tyson? Or would Tyson, even in his late 50s, prove that his power was timeless? The world held its breath. This was going to be one for the books. The rivalry between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson wasn't born in the ring. It ignited in the digital world, fueled by social media jabs and trash talk. The internet became the battleground where words were the weapons and followers were the spectators. Jake Paul, never one to shy away from attention, began calling out Tyson in early 2024. His tweets were bold, his Instagram stories even bolder. He knew exactly how to stir the pot. He was fresh off wins against former athletes and MMA fighters. Each victory added to his confidence and his social media following grew exponentially. Paul craved a bigger challenge, a bigger name. He wanted to prove that he wasn't just a YouTube sensation but a legitimate fighter. Tyson was the ultimate target, a living legend, a name that resonated with both old-school boxing fans and the new generation. Paul's tactics were deliberate, provocative, and undeniably effective. He knew that controversy created clicks and clicks created cash. He mocked Tyson's age, his iconic lisp, and even the infamous ear-biting incident with Evander Holyfield. Each jab was calculated to get a reaction. Paul knew how to get under people's skin. He was a master at psychological warfare, using social media as his battlefield. He knew how to generate hype. His antics drew in millions of views, and his fan base grew more fervent with each post. And he knew that Tyson, despite being retired, still had that fighter's fire. The former heavyweight champion was not one to be easily provoked, but Paul managed to do just that. Tyson, never one to back down from a challenge, responded in kind. His replies were measured but firm, showing that he still had the heart of a warrior. He called Paul a punk, but acknowledged the young fighter's skills. Tyson's words carried weight, and his acknowledgement added legitimacy to Paul's challenge. He even hinted at a possible fight saying, if the price is right, anything is possible. This statement sent the internet into a frenzy, with fans speculating about the potential matchup. The back and forth between the two captivated the internet. Every tweet, every Instagram post, every YouTube video was dissected and discussed. Fans and critics alike debated the possibility of a real fight. Could Jake Paul, the social media star, actually stand a chance against a boxing legend like Mike Tyson? Could this social media feud actually translate into a real-life showdown? The anticipation grew with each passing day, as both camps hinted at negotiations and potential fight dates. The world of boxing had seen many rivalries, but this one was different. It was a clash of eras, a battle between the old guard and the new wave. Both fighters began to train harder, posting their progress on social media. The hype was real, and the stakes were high. Press conferences were held, and the tension was palpable. The world watched as these two titans of different generations prepared to collide. Tickets sold out within minutes and the fight was billed as the event of the century. Everyone wanted to see if Jake Paul could back up his words or if Mike Tyson would teach him a lesson in the ring. The countdown began and the excitement reached a fever pitch. The world was ready for the ultimate showdown, a fight that started with a social media spark and grew into a blazing inferno. While the trash talk raged online, behind the scenes, serious negotiations were taking place. These weren't just casual discussions, they were high-stakes meetings involving some of the most influential figures in the sports industry. This fight wasn't just about pride or legacy, it was a spectacle that had the potential to redefine the careers of both fighters involved. It was a business deal, a potential goldmine for everyone involved. Promoters, sponsors and networks all stood to gain immensely from the event. Millions of dollars were on the line, and both fighters had compelling reasons to step into the ring. The stakes were higher than ever, and the anticipation was palpable. For Mike Tyson, the fight represented a chance to add another chapter to his legend. Known for his ferocity and unmatched power, Tyson had always been a larger-than-life figure in the world of boxing. He had retired years ago, but the lure of a massive payday and the opportunity to silence his doubters proved too strong to resist. The idea of stepping back into the ring even at his age was both thrilling and daunting. 
rumors swirled that Tyson was being offered upwards of $100 million for the fight. This staggering amount was a testament to his enduring appeal and the excitement he could still generate. This wasn't just about the money though, for Tyson, it was about proving something to himself and to the world. Tyson, even in his late 50s possessed a warrior spirit. His training regimen was grueling, and his determination was unwavering. He wanted to prove he still had what it took to compete at the highest level. The fire in his eyes was unmistakable and his punches still packed a formidable punch. Jake Paul on the other hand, saw this fight as his ticket to legitimacy. Known initially as a YouTube star, Paul had transitioned into boxing with surprising success. He had silenced many critics with his recent victories. Each win had been a step towards earning respect in the boxing community. But a win against Mike Tyson, a boxing icon, would elevate him to a whole new level. It was an opportunity to prove that he was more than just a social media sensation. The financial incentives were substantial, with Paul reportedly guaranteed $50 million. This was a life-changing sum. But for Paul, the fight was about more than just the money. But for Paul, this fight was about more than money. It was about respect, recognition, and cementing his place in boxing history. It was about respect, recognition, and cementing his place in boxing history. The stakes were incredibly high for both fighters, and the world was watching with bated breath. The anticipation was building to a fever pitch. Fans from all over the world were eagerly awaiting the showdown, and social media was abuzz with predictions and debates. Press conferences were electric, with both fighters exchanging verbal jabs and building the hype. The tension was palpable and the excitement was contagious. Both fighters were training harder than ever, pushing their limits and preparing for the fight of their lives. The dedication and effort they were putting in were truly remarkable. Merchandise was flying off the shelves and fight posters were plastered everywhere. The event was shaping up to be one of the biggest in boxing history. As the fight night approached, the excitement reached a crescendo. The stadium was packed and the atmosphere was electric. Both fighters walked towards the ring, the crowd's cheers echoing around them. This was the moment they had both been preparing for, and the world was watching. The intensity in their eyes was unmistakable. This was more than just a fight, it was a battle for respect, legacy, and a place in history. The bell rang, and the fight began. Every punch, every move, was a testament to their dedication and determination. Fans were on the edge of their seats, and commentators could hardly contain their excitement. This was a fight that would be remembered for years to come. As the fight drew to a close, both fighters were exhausted but determined. They had given it their all, and the respect they had earned was undeniable. In the end it wasn't just about who won or lost, it was about the journey, the effort, and the respect they had earned from each other and the world. The fight was filled with memorable moments that would be replayed and talked about for years. It was a night that truly had millions on the line. With the fight officially announced, both Paul and Tyson retreated into intense training camps. The anticipation was palpable, and the stakes were higher than ever. This wasn't just another match, it was a clash of generations, a battle between the new age of social media influencers and the old guard of boxing legends. The media followed their every move, eager for any glimpse into their preparations. Every jab, every bead of sweat, every moment of struggle was captured and analyzed. The world was watching and the pressure was immense. Jake Paul, the younger fighter, opted for a public approach. He thrived in the spotlight, using it to his advantage. His training sessions were open books, filled with live streams and daily updates. He documented his training regimen on social media, showcasing his sparring sessions, strength training and conditioning drills. His followers saw him push through grueling workouts, lifting weights and perfecting his technique. It was a calculated move to not only build hype, but also to show his fans and critics alike that he was taking this fight seriously. He brought in renowned boxing coaches, including Sugar Hill Stewart, the man who guided Tyson Fury to victory against Deontay Wilder. This was a statement in itself, aligning himself with the best in the business to elevate his game. Paul wanted the world to see his dedication, his work ethic, and his transformation from YouTuber to serious contender. He was no longer just a social media star, he was a fighter, ready to prove himself in the ring. Mike Tyson, in contrast, shrouded his training in secrecy. The former heavyweight champion preferred the shadows away from the prying eyes of the public. He chose to prepare away from the prying eyes of the media, 
holing up in remote training camps with a select team of coaches and sparring partners. This was a return to his roots, a nod to the old-school methods that had made him a legend. Rumors circulated that he was sparring with younger, faster fighters, honing his reflexes and timing. These were the kind of fighters who could push him to his limits, ensuring he was in peak condition for the bout. Those who trained with him whispered about his legendary power, claiming it hadn't diminished with age. They spoke of his ferocity, his unyielding determination, and the raw power that had once made him the most feared man in boxing. Tyson, it seemed, was approaching this fight with a quiet intensity, a veteran's focus, determined to remind the world why he was once called the baddest man on the planet. His training was a blend of old-school grit and modern techniques, a testament to his adaptability and relentless drive. As the days turned into weeks, both fighters pushed themselves to the brink. Paul, with his public displays of progress, and Tyson, with his secretive intense regimen, were on a collision course. The world watched with bated breath, speculating on who would emerge victorious. Fans and pundits alike debated endlessly. Could the young upstart with a massive social media following really stand a chance against a seasoned veteran? Or would Tyson's experience and raw power prove too much for Paul to handle? Sports analysts weighed in, dissecting every aspect of their training, their strategies, and their mental states. The fight was more than just a physical contest. It was a psychological battle, a test of wills. As the fight night approached, the tension reached a fever pitch. Both fighters knew that this was their moment, a chance to make history. The ring awaited, and with it, the opportunity to prove themselves to the world. In the final hours before the fight, both men retreated into their own worlds. Paul, surrounded by his team, went through his final preparations, his mind focused on the challenge ahead. Tyson, in his own corner, drew on decades of experience, ready to unleash the beast within. The arena filled with fans, the air thick with anticipation. This was more than just a fight, it was an event, a spectacle that had captured the imagination of millions. As the fighters made their way to the ring, the crowd erupted in cheers. The stage was set, the lights were bright, and the world was ready to witness a clash of titans. In that moment as they faced off in the ring, all the training, all the preparation, all the hype came down to this. Two men, two paths, one fight, the world held its breath, ready for the war to begin. As the battle intensifies, the distinct fighting styles of our warriors come to the forefront. Each move, each strike, tells a story of their training, their philosophy, and their will to win. It's not just a physical contest, it's a clash of ideologies, a dance of strategy and skill. One fighter relies on speed and agility, darting around with precision and grace. The other, a powerhouse of strength, uses brute force and resilience to dominate the arena. It's a mesmerizing display showing that in the world of combat, there's more than one path to victory. In the arena, the young lion roars, a symbol of unyielding spirit and raw potential. Each movement, each strike, tells a story of determination and the hunger to prove oneself. The crowd watches in awe, sensing the birth of a new legend. In the world of combat, defeat and victory are two sides of the same coin. Grace in defeat is as revered as glory in victory. It is the resilience to rise again and the humility to acknowledge a worthy opponent that defines true champions. This was not just a fight, it was a clash that would be remembered for ages. A testament to skill, endurance and the indomitable human spirit. Legends are born from such moments, etched forever in the annals of history. As the dust settles, whispers and rumors begin to swirl. Stories of the fight spread like wildfire, each retelling adding a new layer of mystique. The echoes of the battle will linger, fueling debates and inspiring future warriors.